is about to get us started here. And as he does so, for this final game in Pool A, we can head straight down to the sideline and talk to the USA head coach, Mike Friday. Mike, thanks for your time. As always, you got the ball off the kickoff. That's a pleasing start. Yeah, it is. I mean, we've got to, it's about possession against GB and the team that can control possession and not make mistakes and take their chances will come out on top. And we know full well we haven't put 40 minutes together in either weekend yet. And we've been our own worst enemy. So it's about looking after the ball, looking after one another, and then taking our chances and mitigating uh, and minimising any sort of errors. How have you kept the mood up? Obviously, I don't need to remind <laughs> you of the record the last couple of weeks. You need a win. How have you kept them positive? Here's Malachi Isdale heading yeah. for the corner. Inside to Lecamp. I mean, Hold the uh, phone, Mike. What a try that is. Yeah, it's a good start. We've got to keep possession. I mean, as you said, we've had a little bit of a rotten time. But they're young men, they're finding their way. And unfortunately, this World Series is brutal. If you make a mistake, you get punished. And, uh, and that's what's been happening to us just recently. So we've got to take those, um, those punches in the face. We've got to get up. We've got to stay robust. We've got to stay together. And we've got to just take the next moment, control possession, and try and take the next opportunity. All right, Mike, it's Mitch. Mate, it's so up and down, isn't it, really, this <laughs> year? And, and you know that. But what have you learned about this team? And what does that mean for you in terms of how you're going to go forward to some, some big tournaments coming up for Olympic qualifying? Yeah, I mean, it has been. And you know, Mitch, it's, it's tough, right? Argentina been together for five or six years. Chemistry doesn't come overnight. And we've been together kind of naught to 18 months as a team. So we've just got to ride the rough times. Uh, we've got to take the lessons, we've got to learn, we've got to stay robust and grow mentally so that we can take those moments as and when they come. And, you know, the longer you play this, the better you become, the more robust you become, the more chemistry you can create. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about the team, they just need time. Nice one, mate. All makes sense. Mike. I would say good luck in this game, but I would be meaning <laughs> You don't it. mean it, do you, brother? <laughs> Go well, Mitch. Thanks, Mike. Really appreciate it. Here's Femi Sofalaren, though. He'll run away for GB. There's the hit back. From Great Britain on home turf. Femi Sofalaren under the posts. He'll take his time. Well, that's a hit back with class. It's a wonderful line. Let's take a look. Straightens through the gap. Sofalaren, any empty space. Any open field, and this man will bring it home. He's had a good couple of weeks, actually. Femi Sofalaren played for England Sevens and Scotland Sevens on the series before the home nations combined with GB in line with the Olympic cycle. And that conversion is the go-ahead score from Barreto as well, so... Ferguson's going to get us restarted here. He missed last week in Toulouse, Robbie Ferguson, but freshened up. Of course, Scotland, he is a Scot. Back-to-back -back wins here. At the London Sevens a few years ago, Malachi Isdale. Good take. Off the restart. One of these American players, like Cummins here, he's really had to step up with the absence of the likes of Perry Baker and Gavin Zamore. There's a few missing. GB had the ball, though, that... Dart-like pass from Barreto. Little stop-go from Robbie Ferguson, and he's in the corner. And GB extend their lead. Crowd enjoyed that. Well, you called it, Root. He had last week off. Everyone's loving it. <laughs> Some people having a big party in here today. But there's the fresh legs from Robbie. How about this for a stop and go? Nice work from the old man in the corner. Quite, quite a story for Robbie Ferguson. He's had serious illness. He was... The conversion makes it to extend the league. He was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2013 at the age of 20. Made a full recovery. And here he is playing the Olympic Games. And World Cups Good. and Commonwealth Games and captain Come GB on. here at the London Sevens alongside Freddie Roddick. Such a big leader in the group. He really is on and off the field. Loves his rugby. It's his 42nd event all time experience player. Speaking of captains, there's Kayvon Williams. 
So what have the USA got? 14-5, started really well. A couple of slightly soft tries. I imagine Mike Friday might call those. Here's Cummings, just darts in, gets chopped to the floor by Ferguson. Talapus is there. Schrader to Williams. He's got Lucas LeCamp with him. Kayvon just delays the ball to LeCamp. He's actually educated in the UK, Lucas LeCamp, down in Canterbury. Born in Hong Kong and now playing for the USA, UCLA Bruin in California. There's another California Stevie Thomas seen through the hands of Schrader back to LeCamp. Going over the yes, turn, but brilliantly done. Soft Lara. That's how you do it. Great technique. And people Vandra catches and then bumps off as the big burly fellow. Born to Fijian parents in the UK. Here's Sofalara and again he hits hard as Lucas LeCamp. Yeah, and that's caused the steal. Williams was in there like a flash. Big hit from LeCamp. Two wonderful bits of defense. Firstly, Femi Sefalorin with the turnover. And then Lucas LeCamp. Oh, no. Just keep it tidy. With his own go. Now, they're a tight knit group, this USA team. They, they've got the experience of the likes of Thomason and they really have a they really work on their culture together. They spend a lot of time in Chula Vista in San Diego, the coaching the academy down there. I was at training with them this week and they really do have a good vibe about them. They just haven't been able to buy a win of late. They've come so close, they've had a couple of draws. Here's Esda. Good change of direction, Talapusu. Thomason. Cummings. Schrader. Into the 22. Joe does like to stretch the legs and pick up speed. There's Dale. LeCamp. One more pass to Williams. Kayvon Williams can stroll in here. Just before half time, USA have their second score. It's nicely worked from the USA. Kayvon with a walk in in the end. But it was the product of moving it left, moving it right, left again, and eventually back to this near side. Talking to talking to Mike Friday the other day, he's always he's always talking about how sevens is really a game of threes. You always work in threes. Just just tell us a bit about that, Mitch. Yeah, so in attack we're talking about the ball carrier, the support player, and then obviously one person to play away, but also in defense. Kind of talk about perhaps splitting into threes. 14-12, GB lead USA at halftime. Back underway in pool A, GB in red, left to right, USA all in white, down by two. Two tries apiece, just one conversion, the difference. And here's Kayvon Williams, the captain, who got a try in that first half. Schrader on the cut. As they often do, they swing it in behind a Tupuola. Good ball movement here from the USA. Rattle in front of LeCamp. Tries to hand off Bavandra, who then tries to hurl him over the sideline. The ball gets hurled back in field, but it's into British hands. Kick through from Ferguson. Sofalaren's onto it. Lovely pick up with the left hand. Ross McCann now at pace with the retro tape around the noggin. Colleen Barreto, sidestep, Barreto, oh, he'll get there, that's really good, really good. Colleen Barreto scores for GP, Ferguson and Sofala are heavily involved. And the boys getting the applause and quite right. It's a great bit of play, Robbie putting it on the toe, so good at this. Femi just about onside, scoops it. A lovely little lift, and here it's Key. Stays on his feet. Killeen working hard to fight out of that last tackle. Killeen Barreto finishes off a brilliant score for GB. Converts his own try. There's Killeen Barreto, Glasgow Warrior, Scotland age grades. Actually, actually represented Scotland at junior cricket as well. 
little cheeky restart from Ferguson to himself. There's a throwback. Scott White doing that in the final against Africa here. Scott White, yes, to win it, to get the ball back, to win the gold medal. Holding Hello, on. Whitey, if you're watching. Works in real estate these days, I think. Construction, something like that. Great player. Great ball player, Scott White. That ball's gone forward, back into GB hands. 21-12, that's not Scott White. Stop. But it is you, sir. Yes, it is, sir. Stop. 23. Yeah, good team that Scotland team, wasn't it? The likes of Mark Robertson, Scott Riddle, Jamie Farndale involved in that, of course, who's still in the GB mix. Back-to-back -back winners here at Twickenham. Yeah, one of those hurt. Well, they both hurt, to be honest, Ruth. Well, the one when they beat England, I'm talking about in particular. I think their beat on the way to both of them. One of them was in the final, you're right. I was watching from the sidelines. Painful. Barreto's going to work the short side here, 21 12 up for Sofalara, and that combo's worked well here. Maka Nufe coming off the bench again. High tackle. Jamie Adamson out there in number one. And this is Jamie Barden in 33 years. Ross McCann, brother's a professional football player up in Scotland. Barden drop again, switch a play to Homer. He's got a famous brother in rugby as well. Joe looking for number four here, our oh, great Britain, that might put it to bed. Adamson working hard, almost Take over the line. The Peter V's there. Bandage. The ball's out. And Marcus Tupperwalla can come away with it for the USA. Hands it off to Thomason. Score now back in business here, USA. Maka Nufe changes gear. Homer's on the chase, but he won't get there. Maka Onufe winding back the clock in rugby sevens. Well, they went the distance, they turned it over right on their own try line. Just when he thought GB were going to bag themselves another. He's on the ground, a bit of interference perhaps when he's on the ground, but it doesn't matter. They won't mind. Tipola scoops it, they sh spread it wide, and Maka Onufe drives the knees. He's had his injury issues. Marco Anufe almost got him with a tap home. A great shot, that. Brilliant shots coming away from our camera crew here at Twickenham today. Marco Anufe made his debut in Wellington 2012. Same tournament as you, Tom Mitchell. Yep, it was indeed. Good memories. That was some event back in the day, wasn't it? The Wellington Sevens. Goodness gracious, that was fun. 21-19, two-point ball game, 2.30 to go. GB, I want to have a big performance here at home. First time Great Britain have played on the Sevens World Series at Twickenham. Platform, second crack. They've got a penalty here. Sofalara looks exhausted on the floor. That one there, he just had a A couple of boys slow to get up there. Sub. The USA played it, so it was, but you can't play the ball when there's a rut. There's already a ruck formed. Yeah, Can't play the ball. We are taking scrum. Well, there are some fans, and there are some fans that follow the HSBC World Rugby Seven yeah. Series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water up! Water Every up. single tournament on the Seven World up. Series. Yeah. Scrum. She yeah. is present, and she always looks a little shy when the camera's on her. Yeah. Akusuko Ijima is her name. Time on. And she is a Crouch. wonderful supporter of this sport. Five. And it's great to have her here at Twickenham today. Sit. Time off, time off. It's too long there. <laughs> Let's both just keep stability, please. Also, First one was really good, same thing. He might please. have gone home because Kenya Time played on. all their matches today, but there's a there's a Kenyan supporter Crouch. who's a who's a surgeon in Los Five. Angeles. He goes to every event. Six. I don't know how he gets the time off. <laughs> Konya is his name. And he's leading the chanting for Kenya in Kenya Corner at every event. Amazing support. Here come GB, leading by two, as they did at half-time. 
That's the halfway line. There's Nate Green with the Newcastle Falcon. Yeah. Good work on the floor. Was that Peter V with the steal? I think it was. Holding on. Number 25. Scrum. Oh, he is still here. Kanye. He's on the right of shot in the Kenyan shirt. So he he's having a relax now because Kenyan played all their games. It's two wins from two. But he's probably talking to that bloke about cardiovascular surgery and about how he loves watching Kenya rugby sevens. Sit. What's in your skill set, Tom Mitchell? I've got to find a job that allows me that much time off. Well, Tackle! USA got a chance here. Final minute. <laughs> Referee tells the GB the defenders ground. to let go. Ball carrier had his knees on the floor. Ryan Santos, the Harvard University captain, is out there at number 27. There's a new fate. Big play here. Big try for him. Here they come. There's the offload to Schrader. Ball's loose. 20 seconds to go. And the ball actually went forward, says the referee. So Great Britain now can just calm it down. Set the scrum, get the ball off the field, and look forward to finals day. Well, that was their last shot at it. Just not able to stick the offload here. That was their last chance. Down by two. There's the frustration that he's worn so much this season. Sums it up, doesn't it? That that moment yeah, sums it up because it actually didn't look like it went backwards, to be honest. But when it's not with you, it ain't with you. But it has been with GB today. I'll be pleased if they can get this off the park. Oh, yeah, big time. Couple of wins. Through to the cup quarters. Decent seeding as well. There's a penalty, too. And look at Colleen Barreto yelling to say, job done, boys. Ferguson kicks it into the West End. Barreto was very, very good. A hug for Paddy Kelly. Great Britain have beaten the USA 21-19. They're through to the Cup quarterfinals.